I played in Nashville for the Metros, so I assume the crowd would be relatively meager. I can remember sitting in the house that myself and four or five other players lived in, and it was quiet that night before the game. We didn't really know each other, and we hadn't been in town that long, so everything was moving quite quickly. I think we all knew the club's ambition as everything that was being done was done very well, so the feeling of professionalism was great. We knew Chattanooga FC had been promoting the club diligently and was making a push, but in my opinion, everyone seemed a little bit nervous and skeptical, which is completely understandable. I was hoping for a big crowd. I wanted the best experience possible, so there was a lot of talk on the size of the crowd right up until we started to warm up. There was a unique hype and buzz around the city as we were leading into the first game. Marshall Brock, Crew Brock, Sheldon Grizzle, Paul Rustin, Tim Kelly, and all those guys who were part of the ownership group did a heck of a job getting the word out. The grassroots marketing efforts were textbook, and they utilized fantastic relationships they had in the city and with youth soccer organizations to get the entire community thinking about CFC. My hope was that we'd get between 500 and 750 people out for our first match. We honestly thought family and close friends were going to be the only people in attendance. Honestly, looking back, it's one of those moments where you could feel that we were on the cusp of something special. The club did a good job of spreading the word in the community and organization was great on match day. It felt special bringing soccer to Chattanooga.